you know, one of the things that I miss about wrestling, and we talked about the color and flavor and fun that wrestling used to have, I think, that it's, it's sort of lacking now. And one of the things is tag teams. I mean, they don't have tag teams anymore like they used to. I mean, I think they even got rid of the tag team division altogether recently. Um, and then they would have all these makeshift tag teams like Kane and X-Pac. That's not a tag team. That's like two guys that you have nothing to do with, so you make them into a tag team. And so now, like, tag teams are all what I call makeshift tag teams. But back in the day when you had the British Bulldogs and they came out and they had their Bulldog Matilda with them, you know, they had the same, you know, outfits on and they dressed the same, walked the same, wrestled the same, did everything the same. And then you had, like, the Heart Foundation, same thing. And they'd have, like, amazing finishing moves. You know, my thing back in the day was the Road Warriors. Before they were in WWE and became Legion of Doom, they were in AWA and they were the Road Warriors. And they were just some of the craziest guys I've ever seen. Like, that, that was great tag team wrestling. And I think that um, that's something that uh, I would like to see come back because I feel like, you know, the combination of, like, these finishing moves that they used to do, you know, the Legion of Doom used to do the Doomsday device and they had... You know, Jimmy Anvil, Neidhart would pick the guy up and Bret Hart would clothesline him, you know, and they had all funny names for him and stuff, and we're sort of missing that, I think, because it's another thing that just made it fun to watch, you know.